So I took my time photographing a bit coming up here, but I came to the first major obstacle of Marble Canyon, which is this giant chalk stone behind me. So there is a really easy bypass just right there. But I'm gonna take my time right here and have a little lunch, set the camera up already. So I'll make a few pictures of some of this, um, some of the smooth marble kind of polished rock with these veins through it. The, the bypass for that dry fall and the chalk stone. Ah, it's a little bit of a scramble up here. Yeah, it's not really a scramble, it's just a little uphill. Even got some real steps. <laughs> ah, here we go. Yeah, so there's a chalk stone. Wow. Ah, so let's continue around. Look up the canyon. Wow. All right. Down, down, down. All right, let's go take a look at the top of that. There we are looking down to where we just started a few minutes ago. Ah, very cool. All right, onward. It seems like no matter where you move the lens, you can make a picture. So just using the live view with that film simulation in that format. So I'm catching that little spot up there and then some of this on that side and this crack kind of sweeping up like that and then this thing coming up that way. Remember to use the kit release. So, wander around a little more here. Wow, the, this is going to way too bright behind me, but those rocks behind me are looking pretty bright too. And even the canyon looking, looking that way is pretty good. Look at this shape here. So. Oh, it's getting kind of exciting. Um, I only grabbed the camera, and so I'm seeing here is this shape here, that, and then that solid straight line there, and then some of this texture on that side. So, yeah, we'll take a couple more pictures. This is a great little part of the canyon. I'm gonna do it before the, the sun creeps up too much more here. So I took a few minutes to take a break to see what the light's doing here. And it's creeping a little bit 
further toward the west, which is going to make all this in shadow. So I decided to keep hiking up the canyon and see what else, what else is up around the next couple bins. And then I'll probably start making my way back so that I can photograph while the canyon is in full shade. That way I can layer one part on another. It's kind of hard when there's a little bit of light in the bottom here where it's all sandy, little angles of light at the top. So if everything's in shadow, everything will blend together. You can get more involved in the shapes of the canyon walls rather than the light and the shapes the light's creating. But still, this is pretty incredible. Kind of doesn't exactly match my expectations, but that's all right. Um, I think one of the most important parts is trying to let go of the expectations. At some point, I want to talk about the idea of attachment and how expectations and attachment can really get in the way of your photographic growth. One thing I'm trying to focus on in this trip for myself as well, because you know, I've got this big expensive rental camera, I really want to make the mess of it, but I found myself yesterday trying not to photograph because I was trying to look for, oh, what's going to make the best picture? Like, nope, forget it, cut it out, get the camera out, look through it, and you'll see something. So I'm doing a lot of focus blending just because I want to make sure these things I'm seeing on the edges, which are making the picture, oh, this is so good. Um, the things that are making the picture are the, the little details on the edges. So I want to make sure those are nice and sharp. Um, so I'm making like four exposures for each, each um, setup. It's getting a little late in the day now, about 3.30, 3.45, and I think I'm coming up to the end of this canyon, but it just keeps getting better and better. So I'm debating on coming back up here tomorrow. Uh, I'm just a little worried about getting back to the car with enough daylight and trying to make it back down the road uh, or camping up here. I'm not sure exactly which, but... Oh. Yeah, so I think it's starting to open up right around this bend. So what I'm gonna do is hike up to the end, see what I see, maybe make a few more pictures coming back through this shallow part of the Narrows. One thing I have not been able to do yet on this trip is some of the photogametry stuff. Oof, man, it just keeps going. This is so great through here. These walls, you can see all the way up behind me there. But I haven't been able to make this stuff with 3D models yet because these pictures, the stills, the singles are just so great. So one thing I am just a little bit afraid of with this lens and camera combination is that the edges, I have stuff so close to these edges that I'm worried that they're not sharp. So I'm making tests at a couple different um, apertures, apertures, and 
focus points, but uh, hopefully they're coming out because on the screen they look incredible. Now turning around to come back down that last narrows. Spectacular coming this way also. Entering that last stretch of narrows. Maybe I'll look down that way. With these stripes on the rock straight ahead of us. Let's try to set the camera here. So I keep trying to make my way quickly back to the car, but every turn, there's something more incredible. So I threw the 50 on there, took the 23 off, and immediately saw a couple more pictures that I think are worthwhile. And now I know what everybody means by that reflective light. So on one side you have the nice golden light, on the other side, you have the nice blue light, and it's pretty great. So, I'm just gonna more quickly walk up to the car. But of course, as soon as I say that, I have that behind me. So let me make a couple pictures here real quick, and then get it moving. I think I'm about done photographing for the day. Kind of made my mind up on hustling back to the car. Walking a little quicker, but this light is perfect for these, for these cliffs here. It almost makes me want to stay one more day in that one parking area near here, not have to do that road again. But on the other hand, I'm going to hope I get this Death Valley Artist of Residency for 2021. I'll have a proper vehicle, proper camping and backpacking stuff. And I really spend a lot of time up in these canyons because there are a few hours, which is unfortunate. Usually kind of say you don't need to chase the light, especially when working with black and white. But because of the way the sun shines down in here, it really does need really does need the soft light. So either overcast or this kind of glowing end of daylight 